So this was the day we met each other, and I showed up um, about, I don't know, probably two hours before the show started. And Sean weren't there yet, but the guy that ran the show was uh, the head of Audio Tree, and I was supposed to, I wanted to play the show solo because I was not able to have a band at the show. And Mario and I were both tight with this, this, this dude, Mike, that ran Audio Tree at the time. And Mario was just like, dude, wait, Thomas is going to play solo? Like, like, we'll be his backing band if he wants. Like, we know a bunch of their songs. And I had heard of your band, because um, you, Grow had just come out and was fucking slamming at the time. Mm. And I w loved your guys' band. It was like a situation where I I was like that I was like wow that's a that's a, that's a that's a handful you know like Fall Choice songs aren't easy, <laughs> but I also knew your guys' music, so I was at the point where I was like if anybody's gonna be able to pull off being my backing band with no rehearsal, it's gonna be Chon, right? You know, um, and so. I show up, I get my guitar out and stuff, and I'm kind of, like, nervous, and eventually you guys showed up. And, like, I had been talking to you, though, texting with you and stuff, uh, yeah. and we had been going back and forth. And um, I think me and you and Eric just got our guitars out immediately, uh -huh. like, backstage at, at the cantina, and just um, started going through just, like, parts that, like, you guys were like, yeah. uh, we're not, like, sure what's going on here. Like, could you show us? And boom, 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 boom. Uh, yeah, it was no rehearsal. No rehearsal at all. <laughs> and, well, here's uh, the funny thing, though. Like, we did know your songs already. Like, I know. Uh, well, that's that's. I don't know if you knew that at the time. Did you know we were fans? Or? Uh, I, I was told. I I was told. Mike oh, told okay. me. Mike told me that you were like were huge Fall Troy fans. Yeah. You like legit like Straight know up, their we songs. Were. Like me, I have a ticket <laughs> Ooh, in my face. drawer still, like in my um, nightstand. Of like a glass house show with you and Tara Mellows. Yeah. Foxy Shazam. Like two thousand. And dude, me and seven or me something. and Nathan and Eric went to that show like in two thousand seven or something. So we're like straight up we were straight fans and <laughs> we had we actually had performed F C P remix at this like talent show thing. Your brother showed me that video. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he was like, dude, yeah, he was 10. <laughs> Nathan was 10 and, during that. And, like, playing drums like a 25-year-old like man. In, in seven and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Wait, some 10, 10 old. playing he was, he was playing in type six signature, signatures bigger than his age. Like, straight yeah. up. <laughs> That's funny. And so he went up to play, and I was like, I was feeling good about it, but I was still like, Pretty you nervous. Were I know you were probably worried. I would be if I were you, but but you know what? Like I also have that attitude of like fuck it, like let's have fun. And yeah. the vibe of the night was there were so many people at that place. Do you remember that? There was yeah. a line like uh, doubled around the block, and we started playing, and it was just like sounded awesome. Everybody was killing it. Uh, Mario was supposed to do three songs, and then Eric was supposed to do three songs. And we did Mario's three songs, and then Eric switched over, and we did a cover of Heart Shaped Box by Nirvana, which is the most punk rock thing ever. And then as we're playing Heart Shaped Box, the cops show up and shut the show down due to overcrowding and capacity. And that was my first experience ever hanging out with you and ever meeting you and ever doing anything with you. Not to be cheesy, but what like a special like kind of experience to share with someone your first time ever being around them. You know, like I knew that I liked you from talking over the internet and talking over the phone, but I didn't think that it was gonna be that crazy of a show. And like, like I said, I swear, like I said, my, these, these dudes played my songs like better than my own band do <laughs> on a nightly basis. Like, Shit. you know, it was crazy. Your brother, fucking Andrew, Andrew saw the videos, uh, videos and was like blown away. <laughs> he couldn't believe it. The other one I wanted you to bring up, Hendo, if you can real quick, is the Audio Tree Festival that we did. Um, it'll be the Fall of Troy featuring Tim, I forget about that one. Yeah, FCP remix, where it was all of us. This was in Michigan. This was somewhere. in Michigan, yeah. 
Where is it? Yes, it was. It was in uh, Grand Rapids. No, it wasn't. Kalamazoo. Yeah, Kalamazoo. But yeah, we drove from San Diego to Kalamazoo, all, like not. I remember that. I remember that. And we like got off and just started loading immediately. Yeah, it's yeah. It's kind of fucked. Well, I just remember. I remember during this performance of this song with you guys. Like as you can see, there's just people everywhere. Like people just started invading the stage. It started out pretty chill, and by like the breakdown section of the song, there's bodies flying everywhere. Pedals are coming unplugged. My and shoes I getting untied. Your shoes getting more and more untied. Now I'm gonna go back and watch this video, and take notice of that. I've always been really grateful to you, man, for like, um, like, su like supporting me as an artist. Um, you know, through ups and downs and stuff, and and always in you've you've invited me many times to. Uh, come on stage and and play songs with you at your own shows you've brought me up on stage like in columbus like to do can't wait and then oh, yeah. to play fcp remix yeah like play my song at your show like that's like a huge huge gesture man like i want to thank you for that and that exposure i remember too. that that was crazy that like, was the crazy. crowd went really insane yeah during fcp and we, we were gonna play can't wait after yeah. No, but we played Can't Wait before. Are we going to play Perfect Pillow after? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. And then we were like, wait, yo, let's just not you play that. <laughs> we can't beat FCP. Like, that was too crazy.